Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, Tampa, Florida. Yay! Anyway, I'm working on this uh, minivan right now and it is not that bad. But um, yeah, that's what she said. And it's really not. I mean, I, I do this minivan probably every other time I come over here. Every time I come, I do the Ferrari and the X5M, but uh, I do the minivan every other time. But I wanted to show you guys, I was recently asked how I do windows. You notice that window is pretty gross. Uh, they generally are all gross in here. I believe they have either three or four children. Anyway, this particular window has lots of stuff on it too. See all that? Um, so I have my green microfiber towels that I sell on detailjuice.com. That's pretty much the only towels I use besides the black ones, which are pretty much the same towel as that. And I have the Gary Dean Wash Method Waffle Weave 16 by 24 white towel. This is a bottle of uh, diluted infinite use detail juice, two capfuls of the concentrate uh, to a full bottle of water. And so all I generally do on windows, and, and it's generally on the basic service that I'll do it like this because a more advanced detail would re would would get more of my effort uh, it would uh, consume more time and I would actually use isopropyl alcohol to really get the windows streak free uh, but for basic windows I use the infinite use detail juice diluted just like I showed you um, and I just spray it on and wipe it in but I also am thinking about conserving towels as I'm doing everything that I do. So I'll, I'll do the windows first before I use the same towel to start wiping down the interior. Uh, and then if I get any streaks on the interior because of the residue I'm picking up from the plastics, uh, like if I get residue on the nav screen or if I get it on the wood or the uh, piano black kind of situation, uh, I will get a fresh towel and make sure that there's no streaks, but I try to do everything I can to conserve towel consumption uh, while I'm detailing. So that's something to think about. But anyway, we've got this debris on the window. I just give a very light spritz like that. And I will literally wipe off all of the areas that I see that are smudges or stuff on the windows and then I'll flip to a clean side and give it a, a wipe just like that nothing to it the window is nice and clean I'll do the same thing with the other side I'll just climb right through here make sure you can see all that stuff that's down there on the window now again literally just take the spray Put a little bit on the window. I always use the plush side to get the, the junk off the window. Just like this. And then I'll use the other side. Like I said, I'll flip to the other side. The uh, thin nap side. And I'll do the final buff on the window. And that ensures that the side that has all of the juice on it doesn't oversaturate the window. You notice that it's all nice and clean now. Good to go. Now you do the same thing on the mirror. It's got some stuff on it. On the mirror, I actually wouldn't spray the mirror. I would just take the, because uh, after I've done two windows, you've got a little bit of juice on the towel. Just take the thick nap side, give it a quick wipe, switch it to thin nap side, give that a quick wipe, and boom. Good to go. Uh, another quick tip for the interior, especially if it's a woman driver, they really appreciate it if you clean off their vanity mirrors. Notice that one, it's not all fingerprinted, but it's dirty. It's got a lot of dust and stuff on it. So again, I'm not gonna spray that. I'm gonna wipe it with the semi-saturated side and then fold it over to the thin nap side and just buff it out just make sure it's all nice now when she gets in and tries to use that mirror she can see her pretty face um always do the sunroof same situation i always just do a quick mist just like that 
thick nap side. Sunroofs are generally neglected. Nobody ever wipes those, or so I've noticed anyway. Switch to the clean, dry side, thin nap side. Make sure you get every square wrench as best as you can. And Viola, clean. Shut the sunroof. This particular situation has screen here. Has a fold down screen. You can actually use the Infinite Use Detail Juice on every aspect of the interior. It's fold down screen. Boom. That's pretty gangster, actually. So again, just a quick spray. Doesn't take much. Same thing on the paint. When you're using stuff on the paint, it doesn't take a lot. But anyway, make sure you get all the screens clean. Make sure everything is clean uh, and streak free. That's it, it's not complicated. But I have been asked several times recently, how do I do glass? And if the windows aren't super polluted, I will use the Infinite Use Detail Juice. If I've gotta get lots and lots of nastiness off, I will definitely use isopropyl alcohol. It doesn't take a lot. Wiping these windows down does a lot for the interior. Thin nap side, just it's about being thorough and getting all the streaks off. But the Infinite Use Detail Juice does a great job of providing a streak free surface that looks amazing. So, anyway, it's been Gary Dean live on location. Uh, if you got any got any questions uh, about windows or anything other uh, detailing related questions, uh, eight forgot my own phone number. That's crazy. Eight one three eight four six four four zero six. If you don't reach out, I cannot help you. I would love to help you if I can. Also check out detailjuice.com for my product line. If you got any questions about the products check out gary dean's detail juice nation it is a group on facebook where we talk about only my products if you want to be a part of something bigger than detailing send us a request we'll get you in there and you can talk to other people that use my products because obviously i'm biased i feel like they're the best thing on the planet uh, so do many many other people but you can base your opinion on you know what you find in the group or place an order if I can't make sure that you're getting the best results out of those those products, uh, then I will buy back the unused portion, and uh, that's it. Bottom line, I want you to be successful in your detailing endeavors, whether you're a professional or, the, or an enthusiast, doesn't matter. Time is money regardless of who you are or the situation that you're in. So again, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.